hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to embed your power bi reports live data directly into powerpoint for easy and seamless presentations so we are going to do this in very simple steps so once you're done creating your power bi report in your power bi desktop make sure you publish it to power bi service because that is where we're going to get the link so once you open up your power bi service this is my power bi service account i can see some recommended reports that i I have already published to power bi service so i'm just going to click on any of the reports once i click on the report and the report opens let me quickly show you something you can come over to your settings button over here and click on settings then scroll down to where you have admin portal and click on it under the admin portal in the tenant settings you can scroll down to where you have exports and sharing settings so under exports and sharing settings you scroll down to where you have enable power bi adding for powerpoint so you have to make sure that this is enabled you can enable it to for specific security groups or your entire organization so this will allow people in your organization to actually embed power bi data into their powerpoint presentation so i'm just going to go back here mine is already enabled i'll come back to click on the report once i click on this report i can come over here to click on share in order to share this report if you want people in your organization to have this live data experience you can click here people in your organization or you can just cancel it and right here on the share i can click on the powerpoint button and come over to copy this link or if you don't want to use that route you can click on export once you click on exports on the powerpoint you can either embed an image or live data so if you're embedding it as image it will show as image but we want to embed as live data so i'm going to click this once i click on live data i'm going to click here to copy this link so we've copied this link right now i'm going over to my powerpoint desktop application so right here in the powerpoint desktop application i'm going to click on home tab once i click on home tab i'll come over to my add-ins group if you don't have your add-ins group in your home tab you can check your insert tab it might be there so i'm going to click on add-ins group i already have it as an add-in but if you don't have it you scroll down and search for microsoft power bi add-in so i'm just going to enable this add-in right now so once this add-in is enabled you can see the report page showing here so i'm going to paste the url i copied the link to that particular report then i'll click on insert once I click on insert, you can see that the entire report page has been embedded right here in my PowerPoint presentation. So I can include it with all the filters in this particular report. So I can go to the next page in this report. If I go to the next page of this report and come over to where I have some of these slicers, I'm just going to select any artist and you see that the information is going to update for this particular artist because this is a live data. In cases where you don't want to embed the entire report, you just want to embed some visuals into your PowerPoint presentation. So you can come to this adding options over here and click on it. Once you click here, we can clear this data. So I'm just going to clear the data from this particular one. Then it shows us this um, add-in box again for us to impute a URL. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our Power BI service and we'll copy a link to any of these visuals. So I want to copy the link to this particular line chart here. So I'm going to scroll over. When I over on this link, you can see these three these three dots that says more option. Once I click on it, I'll select share and click link to the visual. So when I select link to the visual, I'm just going to copy this link. After copying the link, we'll go over to our PowerPoint desktop application. Then right here, I'm going to paste the URL to that particular visual. Then I'll click insert. Once I click insert, this visual has been embedded here with its live data. So you can see it came with all the drill buttons that I had. So if I turn the drill mode for this particular visual, this is the drill up i can drill up to see information for the years and i can also drill down to see information for the months then i can turn off the drill button then right on this visual you can see over here this is the data information it's just telling me the name of the data and the dates which it was last updated so if you want to generate data insights from this particular visual you come over to where you have data options and select it then you select data insight once you select data insights it's going to generate insights for this particular visual for you 
and the good thing about this is that you can always edit this inside you can add more information you can edit anything you want to edit within this inside then once you're done with that you click to paste it on the slide so i'm just going to readjust this particular visual i'm just going to readjust it and this is the inside that was generated from this visual so remember like i said you can add any other information that you wish to add and for this particular visual if you want to add an outline to it you come over to style options and select outline and you can see that an outline has been added to this particular visual then you can come over here so you can come over to where you have this button show filter under here, you can select this delete to delete the Power BI add-in from this current slide. And if you click to reload, it's going to reload. Remember, as you are opening, anytime you open your PowerPoint presentation, it is always going to reload data directly from Power BI service. But if you want to show it as a saved image, that means you don't want any interaction between this presentation and the Power BI report in the Power BI service. You just click here to show as saved image. So this is now showing as a saved image so after clicking that button to show as a saved image i cannot interact with this particular report again so you can see that all the buttons are off because i can't interact with it again so if you want to show it back as a live data you just come back to this particular button and select just click back on that show as saved image once you click that button it's just going to return it to how it was it's just going to return it to the live data of course you can see all the filters are here we can go ahead and do anything you want to do within your powerpoint presentation and note that this particular pane here this particular pane is only available for your powerpoint desktop application it's not available for powerpoint for the web okay so you can go ahead and try this feature in your next presentation to your tech stakeholders to your team members or even to your client and let me know what you think about this feature in the comment section thank you so much